talking to so many different folks in manufacturing, there's certain themes that we notice in the in the manufacturing zeitgeist. So there's some economic factors at play affecting the work that we do in manufacturing in North America and globally. Um, so there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of inflation. We feel it just as consumers, not even thinking about manufacturing. It's present every day. There's increasing costs in materials and energy, and the um, changing workforce is really causing people to look at digitiza digitization as a factor to um, maintain their competitive edge. Looking at economic factors, one of the strategic partners that we work with, Zebra Technologies, shared a statistic with us that 90% of customers they surveyed are looking at accelerating digitization priorities based on the market conditions. To battle some of the challenges with a shrinking um, profit margin and enabling a new workforce to take over um, some of the jobs that are open today. Um, another factor that I, I mentioned was as the changing workforce. So um, enabling a younger and more diverse workforce uh, is challenging. So for uh, two years in a row, another one of our partners, Rockwell Automation, stated in their manufacturing state, state of smart manufacturing research report that the changing workforce is one of the top reasons that manufacturers will struggle to outpace the competition and stay competitive. In a lot of conversations, we talk about the digital native generation and the kinds of materials that they not only expect, but need to be able to do a job well. Some of the hands-on experience that used to just come with, let's say, graduating high school, we don't necessarily see in the next generation of workers. And when they go to learn activities, they expect there to be highly visual digital options for them to learn and understand, uh, let's say, a new operation that they have to perform. So 94% uh, uh, of those surveyed by one of our strategic partners, Rockwell Automation, um, expect to hire more and repurpose workers for different roles to battle the, um, the growing challenge of filling open roles in manufacturing. <clears throat> Excellent. Ellie, what impact are these trends having on quality? Yeah, Mike, so I think if you think about um, not being able to fill roles, having a skills gap in the workforce, um, and trying to uh, continue to be profitable, Quality is really the underlying theme. And according to the same survey I mentioned earlier, it's the number one outcome that manufacturers expect to achieve with smart manufacturing measures. Higher quality, um, it's important for a variety of reasons, um, certainly a lot of economic reasons. Being able to have a higher yield rate in manufacturing, being able to get to market quicker, being able to avoid some of the repercussions of poor quality. So digitization is highly uh, themed around quality as the underlying measurable KPI when we go to digitalize manufacturing efforts. Great. Ellie, what do you what do customers attribute their quality issues to today? Yeah, so there's certainly a variety of reasons. Um, some of uh, the reasons are, let's say, something that we can address. One of the reasons that we talk about as far as root cause is often related to documentation. When we think about getting um, higher levels of quality, uh, having up-to-date documentation, documentations that's easy to understand, that's executed correctly is something that we can control. Uh, Canvas GFX performed a study of over 500 manufacturing leaders, and what we gleaned from that study was that 85% of them blame actually documentation on some of their issues, whether it's errors, delays, uh, downtime, time to market. Uh, documentation was one of those root causes in, in uh, poor quality. 